good afternoon well we've come a long way in 42 days from hot out of the oven to piranhas on four feet <laughs> uh, this is Gabby's litter of large standard schnoodles they are six weeks four days old and they miss nothing um, they are doing phenomenal. I know I was bad last week, did not get a video on. We were so, or pictures on. It was insane. I'm going to try pictures tomorrow if I can keep these guys on a table. But they are at the point where they are full of it at this age. So I took weights before we brought them out here so I could give you weights on them. You're going to have to look for your collar colors. I'll try and give them to you after we do this. So I'm just going to read down through the list. 5734 neon orange blue merle male weighs 7 pounds 12 ounces today. Uh, 5721 the royal blue collar blue merle weighs 9 pounds 6 ounces. The mob colored collar female and she has the long tail so if you look for the flag out there there she comes you will see that long tail. And she is 7 pounds, 11 ounces. The neon pink female, and I don't know where she's at. She's right, probably right, there she is, right in front of me on the fence, uh, on the left. She is 57.35, and she is 7 pounds, 7 ounces today. 57.31 is a male, um, neon green collar, blue merle, 7 pounds, 4 ounces. The forest green merle, uh, forest green collared merle, 5723, is 8 pounds and 6 ounces. And I can tell you that's the blue collared one right there. They held still long enough for me to catch that out of the corner of my eye. The red collar puppy, 5728, weighs 8 pounds, 1 ounce. Um, the light blue collared puppy, which is the smallest in the litter, is 6 pounds, 13 ounces. His chip is 57. 26 he's over there chewing on the tail on the little female with the long tail in the background the purple collared puppy is 5730 is his microchip number he weighs seven pounds six ounces so that's your weight update now let me see if i can track down collars there's the neon pink puppy again right in front of me not going to be there long uh the royal blue is out there right there all by himself taken off Let's see, who is out there? They're so hard to see with their collars. Uh, the neon green puppy is on his way right there. You just got a glimpse of it. He's on the right side arguing with the long tail puppy. Um, the mauve colored puppy is right there beside, right there. Shh, there he comes. And, no, oh, that might be neon orange. That's neon orange over here, sorry. So that's a neon orange with his butt towards us, and he won't turn around yet. Uh, he's going to eat rocks. He's still got his butt towards us. There's the female with the long tail, and her tail curled over her back. I think that is the, the orange collar one. It's so hard to tell. There he is. Oh, it's gone. Uh, let's see who else can I find in here. There's forest green right there in front of us. There, you got a glimpse of it right there and let's see who else that's neon orange yep that was him right there is neon orange and tag on this is tough to, tough to see collars um this is the little merle with the black chest out here he's right there by himself and i can't catch collar color he's got so much hair on him i can't there he sit down so you can see that patch on his belly um who else can i spot in here they're getting so ornery and so big there's the light blue puppy right there by himself the dark one that's the light blue collar Oop, we're all going to go potty over there okay we'll avoid that um who is that chewing on the oh they're going to come talk to me and i don't want him to come talk to me that's the neon green right there eating a rock trying to swallow it there he goes I know we're missing somebody. I'm trying to find the red collar out here. Oops, sorry. I gotta. I guess I better zoom out. They're all right here underneath me. 
There's the red collar puppy right there wagging his tail at me, and there he goes. Um, other than that, daggone it, it's so hard to tell. I'm really sorry I'm not spotting collars out here. Let me go move my fence because they just decorated my concrete and I don't want anybody to step in it. Okay, guys, we're moving your fence. Okay. Yep, there's the red collar on the left, the black. Now everybody got outside and had to go potty. Gee, many Christmas. Okay, let's move all this over here because they all seem to be pottying in the same area. Okay, let me move that. Dang on it. Okay, that's not easy, which it's just me out here. I probably stepped in it. That's great. These guys are really getting fun. This fence is 24 inches tall. And they're getting darn close to the top of it. Um, they are all in the house with us. We've got them in three separate kennels that are five foot by ten foot. So this is actually the first time they've played back together uh, in about four days. Um, we do have them all separated, so there's not so many in a kennel, and they don't make such a mess, and uh, makes it much easier on us that way because these are, as my grandson says, these are big poopers. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, there, I brightened that up so you can see collars maybe a little bit better. It is tough, I tell you, to see collars. And if you can't uh, spot them right off the bat, I still think the little guy out there running around is the red collar. He's clear out there by himself, but I never have been able to get a glimpse. Yeah, that's the red collar male out there in the corner digging in my gravel you know I'm not so crazy we had our our driveway and parking lot tired and chipped this year and I don't know if I'm a crazy fan about it because with puppies and they poop on it uh, it's really tough to clean it up uh, let's see boy I'll tell you what you're gonna have to set down rules boundaries and limitations with these guys uh, they are going to roughhouse you to death the they are no different than our smaller snoodles they're just a bigger bigger version so you cannot treat them like children or babies when they come home because they're far from that. Uh, they will get into anything. They will destroy more than you can ever imagine. So when you are not physically interacting with them, please make sure you lock them up. Put them in a kennel. Put them in a crate. Put them in a playpen. This is actually, uh, this is two and a half playpens put together. Uh, I made it really big so they could get out here and go to the potty and we could move it where they weren't walking in it. So it is bigger than normally just two puppy playpens. Um, if you do decide to get a puppy playpen for these guys, make it at least a 42 inch. I know that sounds like overkill, but you will just be shocked how fast these guys grow. Um, the other thing I think I would tr probably do with these guys is they should go on large breed puppy food uh, they are not a small breed these are going to get big you don't want them to grow on high protein high fat like you would if they were a small schnoodle because it's not good for their joints so you want to slow that growth down a little bit uh, it's not going to change their growth it's just not going to pump all that protein and fat into them like it will the small ones that are uh, built for that so I truly advise you to look for a uh, large breed puppy. Diamond Naturals is a really good uh, product. I have not switched them to large breed. I think we're going to do that today. I'm going to the grocery anyway and I may go to the feed store and we may pick up um, large breed puppy and start them over on that. I'll let you know what brand we put them on and I will make it a brand that's easily accept accessible through either your farm store or Rural King. Um, pet stores. I'll make it a brand that is easy for you to acquire. Um, I'm going to check Costco tonight because I am going to Costco and I'll see what they carry in the way of a large breed puppy if they have such a thing. So I will let you know uh, next week when we do their video. Uh, these guys go in on the 31st to be spayed and neutered. My vet's going to die when she sees these. <laughs> They've still got 11 more days to grow, 12 more days to grow. So that's like you know, almost two weeks. Holy buckets, they'll be over 10 pounds. Um, so they've been a really fun group. Oh, and they have kept us busy. They all got a bath yesterday. 
oh geez they're eating more rocks uh, the one with the blue collar seems to be uh, really enjoying the rocks there he is you can see that blue collar he's the biggest in the litter so far uh, but I'll tell you there's a couple in there that are catching him that's for sure and the smallest is the guy out here in the back the really dark one with the blue merle spots chasing her because he says I'm not gonna put up with this there he goes <laughs> because they have the standard schnauzer in them they are going to be a little bit more bullheaded than if they were out of a mini schnauzer and a poodle so that's why it's super important to crack down on them um, do not let them chew on you do not let them jump on you as a puppy you will regret it as an adult if you coax them up on your leg just imagine coaxing them up at 45 to 60 pounds on your leg it's not going to be fun at that point so Teach them manners when they're little. The first eight weeks to 10 weeks at your home will set the tone for the rest of their life with you. So us, what we do here gets them off to a good start. But the difference between a good puppy and a bad puppy is the owner. Uh, you are going to to really do the biggest imprinting on them as what you want them to do and not to do. Oh, they're gonna sit here and he says, oh, I give up. The littlest one just backed the big one down and made him lay on his back. So he says, I'm not taking this. I might be little, but I'm not taking it. Oh, they're so funny. Um, if you wanna bathe these when you get them home, bathe them weekly if you want to. We do, we use an all natural shampoo. You will get a sample of it and you will get the information on where to buy it. It is not sold in pet stores. Um, it is a groomer's specialty shampoo. I love it. It's tearless uh, you're, and it's all natural. There's no detergents in it so you will not dry their coat out. Well, it looks like I'm about out of time. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to let him stay out here for a while and wear this energy off. And if you have questions, please give us a call. And we will have some photos on if I can keep them on a table long enough to do that. And we'll have a new video and everything for you next week too. Have a good one. Talk to you later.